interesting way to conceal your license plate just bend it down this rider was apprehended because he had a passenger without crash helmet this motorcycle was flagged down now drew attention to itself because of the loud exhaust and the passenger is wearing an unauthorized crash helmet plus the slippers on the driver so I just confirmed with the enforcers they said the driver doesn't have a license and the motorcycle doesn't have a valid registration plus the driving in slippers and the substandard helmet that's a lot of penalties if they put them all on the ticket most of the sidewalk in this area looks like this converted to a business or an extension of the home look all the way along the street of course you can't do that without the barangay seeing it so. that's considered as an excess passenger and could potentially fall under the children's safety and motorcycle act because there's a small baby squashed at the front can you imagine what would happen if it was involved in an accident this guy suddenly jumped on the tow truck to help the towing crew it's a random guy that lives here so they asked that guy to go down from the truck because people might mistake him as being part of the towing crew i understand he wants to help but it's gonna confuse people good morning everyone mmba back on the road manila city issuing tickets to the legally parked vehicles if you're curious this is recto heading towards divisoria this driver told him forces he doesn't have a license but asked if they can just write out the ticket to the plate problem with that is a lot of tricycles haven't been registered for three four five six years or more so they don't care how many tickets you write out to the plate because they never plan to pay them so expect to see a lot of tricycles going on the tow truck because he's not the first one to say he doesn't have a license pretty much most of them are saying that and in fact talking about impounding you can already see a couple motorcycles going up and then the tricycle behind thing with Manila City it's very easy to come into Manila City but when you try and leave it's just a nightmare because even four lane roads become one lane with all the illegal parking the illegal car washes vulcanizing shops there is a huge sign here from the PMP reminding people no parking but I don't know how heavily it's enforced anyway you'll see the enforcer is writing out tickets all those motorcycles parked on the sidewalk what do you do if you don't have a space for your car just put some ramps on the road and then convert the sidewalk in the first lane of the road into a parking space aside from the car there's lots of motorcycles here as well i suspect that many of the riders will be able to move them before they get ticketed because like i say there's too many illegal parking compared to the number of enforcers these little re tricycles are meant to have a proper license plate and driver's license they can be ticketed and impounded just like any other tricycle and if we walk back you'll see one of those cars is already picked up by the tow truck and maybe a lifter is going to get the other one so at least two vehicles impounded by the looks of it and now most of the illegally parked vehicles being dealt with they're apprehending riders like this you see the strap is so loose his helmet would basically fall right off plus it's not allowed on a motorcycle that's designed for like bicycles and skateboarding so that's a 3,000 peso penalty plus he's driving his slippers so that's another 500 and there's no plate on the back even if you don't have your LTO plate yet you should have a temporary plate there so if he adds all those violations to the ticket it's a pretty expensive morning of course the reality with vending stores like this is they'll just be told to roll away so she'll take it down the alley and then once the team leave most likely it'll be back here again compared to if you park your car here you're going to have an expensive penalty maybe you're going to be towed away so there is a big difference this member of that gang was getting angry because he said he's just going nearby 99 percent of the vehicles i see with mmda stickers when you ask the driver do you work for mmda they say no so why do you have the sticker same with the lto hbg supreme court People use these stickers when they have no association. Anyway, he's being ticketed now. This rider didn't initially stop, and then when they took action to make him stop, he got angry with the enforcers. The problem is that daddy has a helmet, but the two children are completely unprotected. Plus he's driving in slippers, so that's a lot of violations. Excess passenger, no crash helmet, slippers. Potentially the Children's Safety on Motorcycle Act this rider almost crashed into the enforcer no crash helmet no shoes 2000 pesos would be the total ticket if they put both violations 
you'll also notice that half of the license plate's broken. Is it by accident? I don't know. There's a lot of broken plates around the place. If you see all the parked vehicles on the other side, you might wonder why they're there. But you might also notice there's a parking attendant in the background. That means that the City Hall have given approval to sell parking on the road. A bunch of these vehicles were already ticketed yesterday for parking on the sidewalk and are being ticketed again today. Although many people do run out and move their vehicle before they can be apprehended.